Hello everyone, I'm Serene Mercado and welcome to the 38th Annual Elementary Art Show. This evening we will be recognizing students from kindergarten to sixth grade that have been exhibiting their beautiful art pieces here at the Buena Park City Hall. This year's theme is My Life in the Garden. Students express their special garden and what best reflects them on these beautiful pieces that you see here on the walls. So stay tuned as we reveal first, second, and third place from each grade and as we can see parents, students, and teachers are arriving to support, so stay tuned so that you can see who wins. On Thursday, January 30th, local elementary school students and their parents gathered at the City Hall Council Chamber to be recognized for their artwork for the 38th Annual Elementary Art Show. This year's theme is My Life in the Garden, and it gave kindergarten through sixth grade students in and around Buena Park the opportunity to exercise their imagination through painting, drawing, and collage work. Artwork was on display from January 7th through the 30th and qualified judges reviewed all submissions and selected the first through third place winners in each grade category. On this night, the winners' ribbons and prizes were handed out by the Cultural and Fine Arts Division and Arts Commission representatives. They also took pictures with Buena Park City Council members who came out to show their support for the young artists. Let's go to Serene Mercado, who spoke with the little artists and winners of the 38th Annual Children's Art Show. So I'm here with a fourth grade student who won third place, and well, your name is Jennifer Pena, correct? Tell us about this beautiful art piece. It's titled A Rainbow Garden. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Um, I made it because I thought like, because a frog would be like me, and then me like living in the garden. So what's your favorite thing about a garden? Like, like all the frogs leaping everywhere. Okay. So what did you use to make this beautiful piece that's up here? Watercolors and water oil pastels. Okay, and I s noticed that you did something very unique. You use a technique where you have the frog reflecting his image on the water. How did you come up with that idea? Um, because I wanted to see like two frogs and I like I don't want to put two frogs so I just made a reflection of Excellent and here we have mom, proud mom, what's your name? Oh, my name is Ellie and I'm uh, really proud about my daughter. She loves art, that's what she does most of the time. Okay, is there any other artists in the family? Actually his grandpa, he's from Cuba, actually he passed away a couple of, well like a year ago. Uh, he loves to color and paint and I think that's where she's coming from. <laughs> Excellent, you think that's where you're getting it from? Yeah. Yes. Well congratulations on your third place and uh, we'll, we'll continue just to look at your piece and enjoy it. Thank you. here with Patricia Mulligan. She's part of the Fine Arts Commission. So what do you think of tonight's turnout? I am really impressed and happy and I just love how year after year we give the kids this theme with the loosely based idea of what we'd like for them and then they just come and give us so much and it's so great to see all their imaginations and everything they put together. So tell us about the theme that was selected for this year. The idea this year was to tell the, ask the kids about my life in the garden, wanting to tell what's their picture of a favorite garden or what their place in the garden would be. And um, a couple of them really like did some really innovative things where you wouldn't expect to see and that was really great to see. Excellent. 
And I know that each student, um, well, those that place first, second, and third, they receive prizes. Can you tell us a little bit about what they receive? Well, we put together some really nice uh, care packages for the kids with things to help them, encourage them for um, their art, uh, things that they can draw with and just really have fun with. And we basically we want all the kids to understand how fun art is and keep it in their lives and keep doing it. Excellent. So what is the process of how students can get involved to participate next year? Well, we put the call out to all the local schools. So it's something that the local schools and the teachers, they go ahead and submit the work through the schools. And um, then it comes here to the city and our great staff for parks puts everything together and um, they post it up and then we're able to um, get a chance to experience it. But they could also check our website at buenapark.com. We always have everything we have going for the youth programs. Uh, up in April, we're gonna be having the Children's Arts Festival where parents can come down. It's, it has an Earth Day theme. We're also gonna have the Junior High Arts uh, Art Show there at the same time. So just to keep involved and look in their Buena Park today and be on the lookout for the information. And now second place for sixth grade is Angela Ha. Huh? Congratulations. Thank you. So you titled your piece, My Dream Garden. Could you tell us about it? Well, I've always wanted my own garden, and I thought that this piece really represented what I really wanted. And yeah. So what are some of those things that you really want on your garden? No, like I want lots of like beautiful flowers and like those white graceful swans because I think they're really pretty and they make the garden look a lot more prettier. And what type of tools did you use to create this piece? Um, well, I kind of used some watercolors and I kind of used some pens in some of those. Excellent. So mom, what do you think of your daughter's second place? <laughs> I didn't expect it. So. <laughs> I was so surprised. <laughs> I'm so proud of her. <laughs> Absolutely. So congratulations and thank you for sharing. Okay, the ceremony is just about to begin, so let's see who takes first, second, and third place, kindergarten through sixth grade. The following is a list of all the winners of the 2014 Children's Art Show. Let's take a look at some of the wonderful artwork presented by these talented young artists.
yet another first place winner. And this is for second grade. And we have our teacher with us. How do you feel about this now? I'm just so proud of all my students. They're all so gifted and talented. And I'm really blessed to have them as my students. Excellent. What is your name, sweetie? Ashmita. Ashmita, tell us about this beautiful art piece that you titled Flower Faces. Why did you choose that? Because they have flowers with faces on them. Is that your favorite part of the garden that you can imagine? Yeah. Well, congratulations and thank you for painting such a beautiful piece. Thank you. So here we are with a first grade student and first place. Congratulations. Thank you. So tell us about your beautiful piece. What did you draw? I drew a person and a, um, a leaf with ladybugs on it. And I noticed that the person is hugging the leaf. Why? Because she's trying to see the ladybugs. Excellent. So mom, what's your name? Asha. And how do you feel about your daughter's first place wins? Um, I'm very happy to see that and it was her own idea that made me more happier than whatever she is. Yeah. Well, congratulations and thank you so much for sharing. So what an honor to have Mayor Miller O oh here at the 38th Annual Elementary Art Show. How are you feeling this evening? Great. Thank you very much. You know, it's always here. Pleasure to be here to see so many young kids had a great job on the display on the war. So, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm delighted. Absolutely. And why do you think it's important to have these types of events? Because people need, you know, especially young kids need to learn many things just like artwork and other things, and literature, anything they want to know. This is really good for them to develop their skill for the father. So this is really good. So I'm here with Timothy. He is third place winner from second grade. Congratulations. Thank you. So tell me about your piece. This is different than any other piece. What did you create here? A collage. And what are some of the things that you placed in your collage? Uh, seeds, corn, seed pod pieces, uh, rice and moss and things that I found in the park for one day but I don't know what they're called. Okay. And how did you think of such an awesome idea? Well, I didn't really think of it. Mom just uh, thought of it a little. So you're his inspiration and his helper? Yes, he wanted to make a collage, so um, I helped him think about, you know, the, the theme of the art show and stuff like that. I bet it was fun just going around and selecting fun things to insert. It was, yeah. Some things he found at the park and some were from our yard. And so it was just a, a fun time to spend together. Here we have our third place winner for first grade, Adaj. Congratulations. Thank you. So what did you draw here? I see something very beautiful. A snail. Snail. And why did you choose to draw a snail? 
because I want to make it rainbow. Beautiful colors, and I see all those beautiful colors. Did you use markers or crayons? What did you use? Oil pastel. Oh, excellent. And Dad, how do you feel about your son's third place? You know, I, I'm really proud of him. You know, I'm really happy. Sixth grade student, your name? Brittany Ettinger. Brittany, tell us about this beautiful piece that we see up here, third place. Congratulations. Thanks. Well, about my piece, I really like the um, flowers around the ark and the birds. So can you tell me what did you use to create this piece? Photo scraps, books, so you titled it, Welcome to My Garden. Do you feel that this is a way of welcoming people or why did you choose to create that scene and then title it, Welcome to My Garden? Well, I titled it, Welcome to My Garden because it just feels welcoming. I'm here with the first place winner from sixth grade, Irene Choi, congratulations. Thank you. So this is not your first time submitting your artwork, right? How many years have you participated? Um, I've participated for four years. And this year in sixth grade, you get first place. So tell us about your piece. You titled it A Peaceful Rose in the Garden. Tell us about why you chose that. I was looking at my garden and I saw that the roses were very pretty and it made me feel peaceful. And so I drew a rose. Excellent. So you have your own garden at home. So when you heard about the theme, what did you think about it? I thought it was pretty exciting because I can actually copy the roses from my garden. So is that what you did? Did you sit at home and, and, uh, and copy it and draw it or how did you go about to make this piece? Um, I picked one rose and I drew it and I used other pictures from magazines to draw the outer spaces. Excellent. And here, who do we have here? Dad, what's your name? Uh, Derek. Derek Choi. Derek, so how do you feel about your, your daughter participating in the art and placing first place this year? I mean, uh, she's been participating for the last four years and she's won second, third place before. But we're very excited that she won the first place finally. And we're very proud and very happy for Irene. And, and, and uh, you know, we'd like to thank Bueno Park City for um, holding this kind of event every year. And this is very encouraging for a lot of students. So we're very glad to be part of it. So this concludes our 38th annual elementary art show. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. So many parents, teachers, and students came out to look at all these beautiful pieces and receive their awards. So we hope to see you next year. So log on to our website and see how you can submit your art piece for next year. Until next time, bye-bye. Before we go, there are upcoming events the Buena Park Cultural Fine Arts Division would like you to know about. The High School Art Show and Award Ceremony will be held on Friday, February 21st at 6 p.m. at the Council Chamber in City Hall. Be sure to view all the artwork hanging on display in the month of February. Calling all young actresses and actors, the Buena Park Youth Theater is holding auditions this March for the summer production of Tom Sawyer. Check BuenaPark.com for more information. The annual Children's Art Festival and the 6th annual Junior High School Art Show will be on Saturday, April 26th at the New Buena Park Community Center behind City Hall. And don't forget the concerts in the park this summer at Boiserank Park. You can find out about all that information and more by visiting the city website at BuenaPark.com and in the Buena Park Today Activity Guide. It's going to be a great year for the city of Buena Park.